What's up YouTube? It's Nick with Trickshot Creative and today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty small addition to the car but uh, something that I'm really excited about and it is the OEM uh, Honda seatback protector and cargo tray and cargo net. Um, so the, the whole combination here from Honda OEM is about 300 bucks and I was kind of hesitant to spend that much on it but um, after buying it and using it for a bit I'm really really happy that I did. Uh, so this is connected to the back of the seat by Velcro and um, so you stick Velcro onto a whole bunch of different spots here and it just kind of sticks to the back so it's easy to take on and off if you need to. Um, it's also really really hard which is cool. Um, the cargo tray, kind of the same material. It's pretty hard to, uh, super, super durable. One thing that I didn't know when I bought it is that you actually have to trim the edge of this off. Um, and I did it with scissors, so it got kind of raggedy, but uh, if you do it with box cutters, it'll be straight. Um, and then the cargo net, I wasn't really sure this was gonna work, and it, honestly, it doesn't really look like it would work. Um, but what I've found is that with just a, a pretty simple modification. Um, it's super easy to use. So it comes with these really cheap plastic hooks, um, which you can kind of see here. Let's see if I can get a good shot uh, focus. Yeah, so that's what it comes with. Um, and those are, they're kind of hard to use. So I swapped them out with these um, aluminum carabiners and it makes it super easy to get it on and off. Um, and what I've noticed is that even though it doesn't look like it would work very well, um, it keeps stuff in place really, really well. Everything from, you know, groceries to uh, cargo and whatever you have underneath it, um, which is pretty cool because there's a, there's a fair bit of space in the trunk here. And especially if you're just grabbing something pretty quick, if you're taking corners fast, it rolls around and it's, it's kind of distracting as, as the driver. Um, so it's really nice to have the the cargo tray to keep stuff protected and, and also the the net to keep it from rolling around a whole lot. Um, I'll try and find a, a shot of this with stuff in it. But uh, the other thing I've noticed is that with this kind of with everything laid flat and with the hard protectors on this, you really don't worry about the car a whole lot. And that has two benefits. One of them is that um, it's just it's a lot more durable so you can lay hard sharp stuff down on it and not worry about it messing up the fabric on the interior and the other is that if you have a dog it's so nice to have this because dog hair will get stuck in the fibers of this type of fabric so the more of it that you have covered by something like you know leather or um, uh, this kind of hard plastic the better because dog hair won't stick to this it'll just vacuum right off um, so it makes the car a lot more livable so yeah I just uh, just a really quick review I just wanted to show this in case anybody was interested in the way that this looks um, installed and, and if it's worth spending the money on because it you know it's honestly kind of expensive uh, for the, the OEM stuff but it's nice because it fits perfectly it's super durable and I can say from using it that um, it's a good investment and it's also kind of cool that it's it's branded um, it just gives the car a little bit higher touch feel when you open the, the lift gate um, so anyway yeah it's just been a, a really quick review of something that I added to the car uh, let me know if you're interested in more updates like this and uh, I'll shoot them uh, so it's been a review with Nick at TrickShot Creative and thank you for watching